Welcome to The Hague, a town with some really, really lovely bookshops. Let's go book shopping. I love this city, it's gorgeous. It's not quite as pretty as Amsterdam, and it doesn't have the weird architecture of Rotterdam, but The Hague is just a really friendly and sweet, charming city. Everyone here is nice, everything is sweet, it's a really slow pace of life, it's just gorgeous. Like, I've been here quite a lot in my life, like I've spent a few summers here. I just find it so charming every single time. Love it, love The Hague. If you haven't been, Come to The Hague. There's also a beach. I'll show you the beach at some point. Beach is nice. Pier is nice. Okay, first up is the Kinderbuchhandel, or children's bookshop, Alice in Wonderland. I don't know how they got around that copyright. Trademark? I don't know the difference. I also don't speak any Dutch, so I probably said Kinderbuchhandel wrong, but it's a really lovely shop. Oh my god, there is a fly buzzing around this room just as I start recording. Anyway, voiceover Will here. Hello. That is one of those little free libraries. That is Alice, but she's got some books. White Rabbit, and then there's a doorway. This shop is so charming, I can't wait to show you everything inside. Kinderbock Handle, see, I think I'm saying it right. Lovely place. Look at that. That is a throne with a Moomin on it. I used to be terrified of Moomins when I was a kid. But look at the way this place is decorated. You've got plushy toys, you've got comfort, you've got warmth, lots of wood, lots of nature feelingness around you. And it's just got that warm light, vibrant colors. It's soothing and it's warming and it's welcoming to children. It makes them feel at home. It makes them feel like they're entering a world of wonders and imagination. It's exactly what a children's bookshop should look like. There's even this thing, <laughs> I can't remember what I'm trying to say. Um, shrine, that's the word, a shrine to Alice in Wonderland. You've got your age ratings up here and then you've got a shrine to Alice. And there's even this roll dial section here. Look at that, how lovely and a shrine to Alice in Wonderland. Love this book shop, it's amazing. Outside the children's bookshop was one of those little free libraries, one of those little things where you can just pop in a book and take a book. They are everywhere in The Hague. Like, I see them all around the world, especially on mainland Europe. But here, they really are everywhere. Like, there's one around the corner from the place I'm staying. Those things are just everywhere. There's a really healthy reading culture in the Netherlands, which I fucking love. This country is great. I really love the Netherlands. I could live here. I'd love to live here. Thanks Brexit. Right now I am outside my favourite bookshop in The Hague. This is called Stanza. It is an English or international bookshop. Lots and lots of English books in here. And I chatted with the owners and they had a lot of really interesting things to say that I'll tell you about in a second. But this is such a great bookshop. Stanza is wonderful. I've been in here a million times. I've bought a whole bunch of books. I cannot say enough great things about how lovely this little bookshop is. Oh, shaky cam. All right, so yeah, Stanza, amazing bookshop. Like I visited The Hague every summer for the past three years and this bookshop is like the first place I go to. I, I love the vibe. Obviously it's an English bookshop, which means it has everything that I need, but it's also really well stocked. There's some really cool stuff in here. So what you can see here is the current bestsellers, whatever's currently charting, whatever's got everyone's attention. There's a weird thing though with a lot of European bookshops where there are paperbacks of hardbacks. They're big, they're bigger than paperbacks, and they look like hardbacks, but they're paperbacks. I don't really get it. Anyway, this is the whole fiction section here, and again, mostly new stuff, really beautiful. I adore it. I, I absolutely adore the way this place is laid out, the colour scheme. And then over here you've got a little sci-fi and fantasy section, which obviously I always gravitate towards. Lots of Heartstopper, love to see that. Now over here, I think a lot of these are sort of modern prize winners. They, they change up the displays quite a lot, but almost always you'll see a lot of Japanese fiction, because one of the owners is an expert in modern Japanese fiction, so we, we had a lot to talk about. I love it. Show me a person who's happier than the one in floral dungarees, walking around the hay, going book shopping, and listening to Coheed in Cambria. While I was in Stanza, I bought two Yukio Mishima books. I don't know how I feel about doing this, because I'm conflicted about Mishima, but that's kind of the point. To get unconflicted. Oh, I love this town, city, place. It's great. I really do. I come here a lot. I'm here like for a month every summer. I'm very lucky. Watch out for businessmen. I don't have anything else to say. Just really like this town. Right now I'm outside the American Book Centre or ABC. I don't know why it's called the American Book Centre specifically because there are a lot of UK publishers in here as well that I noticed but let's go take a look. This place is huge. 
Hello again, voiceover Will here. Time to describe the things that you can see, such as bestsellers, YA fiction. Although, there's a huge fantasy section you're going to see in a second, and there's a lot of YA there too. Holland. Don't know why it says... Why doesn't it say the Netherlands? Probably because a lot of English speakers think it's called Holland. It irritates me. As far as I understand, Holland is like a, a county. Like, like it'd be like if you called England Essex. <laughs> oh god. Um, I'm not doing a great job here. You can see it all. You, you, you can see it. You don't need me. That's a travel guide. That's... Yeah, so the sci-fi fantasy section is massive. Like, it goes on and on. It probably fills like half the shop, honestly. It goes on and on and around and around in the distance. It snakes around the outside of the whole place. It's... Mental, not the outside, the outside is, is outside, what am I, the edge, you know the outer edge, oh my shoulder clicked, did you hear that? Yeah, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of sci-fi fantasy, manga section, love seeing the manga section, they got little posters, oh I think I skipped the comics bit, did you see Batman, there was a Batman thing, I like Batman, and uh, yeah, lots of manga, I like manga, oh I see Kaiju number 8, that's a great manga, you should read Kaiju number 8, like, I haven't heard enough people talking about it, it's really good, I love Kaiju. So yeah, lots of uh, comics and stuff, tote bags, you saw some tote bags earlier as well, these are more tote bags. I didn't catch what this is, oh yeah, yeah, non-fiction stuff, you've got music, film and TV, lots of, I don't, I don't read a lot of this, I love, I love film, TV and music, and I don't read books on it, I really should. And then, again, general fiction, I think, and, and stuff, yay. Our final stop is this place, which is a bookshop slash cafe that's been open for like a hundred years. And I spend a lot of time in here just relaxing, reading, drinking coffee. I can't wait to show you. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's so charming. I didn't actually name this place. It's called Bookstore. Or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Book. B-O-O-K-S-T-O-R. Bookstore. That's it. Alright, so there's some books on the shelves. I browse this stuff quite a lot. A lot of penguin-related things. It's charming, aesthetic, beautiful. I think the best thing about this place is the way that it looks. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. I was sitting there and reading earlier. Gorgeous potted plants, long sofas, gorgeous lighting as well. It's so atmospheric. I while away hours sitting here, drinking coffee, reading, maybe picking up a book. The people who work here are absolutely lovely as well. It's just a perfect dream place. Okay, so I don't think I got every single bookshop in The Hague, but this is kind of in the main street, this is the main area. These are all the bookshops that I visit whenever I come to The Hague. I really hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe for books.